I'm Edwin Payne. This is Charles Rowland. As you no doubt know, we are the Dead Boy Detective Agency. He's the brains, I'm the brawn. Getting things done. I made a home here think an unsteady thing. What if that thing catch us? She forced us to go to the afterlife and make sure that never happens. I've been your best mate for 30 years. It will make me feel a lot better if one of these decades you really did learn to defend yourself. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you have to cut Edwin some slack. He spent a bunch of decades in hell, so he forgets how to talk to people. He spent a bunch of decades in hell? Well, not because he was bad or anything. It was a, a clerical error. This little prat a proper scare. Mary Ann. Mary Ann. Fought so long, it's what I do. My fists are fine, it's just my soul's a little bruised. But I'll stay on my feet until I lose. But I never learned to lose. Charles, no! Look, I'm gonna show you something. You promise me you'll never tell Edwin. Come to watch him probably once a week for the last 30 years or so. They're mostly happy now. But like them, you know, I'm, I'm mostly happy. I try to be extra happy for all of us, don't I? And I do a pretty good job. My younger years I do check in on my parents because, because I miss them. And left me grief that I'm, still I'm also making sure that if good times change, why do they my dad is hurting my mum. Like he'd hurt me. It's a lot to you, playing detective. Do you know what happened when I died, Crystal? No. My discipline was to play with an act from God. And Charles, the boarding school covered up what happened to him. Our desk didn't matter. No one ever told him. But these cases matter. They have to matter. You're right. Edwin, can't you tell me what really happened with the Cat King? I have told you the lot of it. He was uncivil. Garish, and I was taken off guard when he spoke close to my ear. What? He whispered in your ear. What is it? You're not telling me. You are so oddly handsome. You fascinate me. Oh my god, he is so into you. He is a boy and I am a boy. If anything, he just enjoys ghosts. You do know two boys can like like each other, right? Charles, have you been crying? Nah, mate. Dust in this place. Why do you think he puts on such a happy face all the time? I have known him for decades. I'm a detective. I would know if something was amiss. He's been hiding it from you. He's probably been hiding it from himself. He wouldn't hide things from me. Are you insane? Everyone keeps secrets. So, like, you're totally honest about everything in your life? You don't have to keep things bottled up. Crystal. As long as I've got my best mate and a case to solve, I'm good. going anywhere are we we're staying here staying together let's just test that shall we good on you yeah with your nightmares and your six smile if you wanted me to be crushed or devastated i am i'm also bloody angry and you won't be taking us anywhere i won't be having it in silence, I feel Those so memories are not why I choose to stay eyes, here. I, I still have a purpose. Are you all looking at me like that? So I did that for us. She was going to take us, Charles. That was extreme. Maybe she's tired of angels. Was it too extreme, Edwin? Winters so was me dying at 16, mate. I don't want to be dead. I hate it. Every day I'm fucking smiling. Charles, I shan't hurt you. Cheers, mate. It's going to be okay. I dare say we all worry about who you really are. Deep down. All of us. But you, Charles Rowland? Throw out the 
the best person I know. Death will come for you now. You should go with her when she arrives. Well, I'm not ready, am I? I don't want to go somewhere else yet. What if I stay here for a bit with you? That is not how you make decisions. Just based on whatever you happen to be feeling in the moment. That's how I live my life. Doesn't seem all that different now. Looks like you're stuck with me. After seeing that, let me ask you. Is that a person who belongs in hell? Let me get him. Edwin? Someone's got to do it. Hey, let's get you out of here. I'm having a tight run. Little chase. I can't get away from it. I can't. But I'm here now. So. I cannot believe you would risk your entire existence coming down to this operatic horror show for me. That is so fucking stupid, it's unbelievable. Sorry. No version of this riding come get you, is there? Wait, Charles! Charles, I'm not mad. I... I'm... I love you. Great. Love you too. Can we go? As more than a friend, I'm afraid. Charles, I'm in love with you. I thought we'd be burned like you don't have to feel the same way. Could it be that we're next or the I just only need you to know. I've watched every tragedy oh. I get it. This is like one of those Orpheus and Eurydice moments, yeah. I certainly hope not that story is tragic. Right. Never finished it. Charles, I'm being quite serious in the event that wasn't obvious. I want you to listen to me. You, in pain, are my best mate. I will never change. You are the most important person in the world to me. And I can't really say that, like, that I'm in love with you, perhaps. But there's no one else, no one else, that I would go to hell for. Literally, forever, to figure out what the rest means. As long as we get out of here. Where is Edwin? Don't you dare! One bit to me. Because I finally trust that you love me. And I find not going back to hell, are you? What <laughs> an unexpected relief. Worried that maybe I'm like Brad and Hunter. They're like my dad. I don't want to be a bad guy. Bad guys do not worry about being bad guys. Is that right?
never know. I mean, my smile is pretty convincing.